Well, hello, I'm Chris, and this is my 68 to 72 rear package tray video. Um, this is the ideal time to do your package tray, at least get it set up and get it in the right place. Now, a package tray is not a complicated thing, but in this video, look what happened. When I put it in the car, evidently it got wet and just warped the crap out of it. So in this video, we're going to make an alternative one, a high quality one that will last a long time possibly last forever because one of the phenomenons about the package tray is almost every old car you get doesn't have one in there because they're literally made out of paper so this thing's a piece of garbage brand new and it got wet over there somehow and it warps the whole freaking thing just completely warped but we're gonna use this as a template now and I'm gonna give you all the dimensions you need to make your own let's talk about these speaker holes real fast for some reason an average person looks at this and says oh this car must have not came with rear speakers the holes need to be punched out no the speakers mounted from the bottom and then they have these weird box things I'm not sure how they mount but they cover the speaker from the bottom that's what they came with Okay, so you will be needing a reciprocating or saber saw, whatever this is. Contact cement. We're going to use this this spray one. This is five, I mean five millimeter. Sell this at Lowe's or Home Depot. It's just super thin. It's $10 a sheet. Cabinet people use this a lot. Now this vinyl, I got it at Walmart. Uh, you have to buy two yards. $15. It's not a 100% match, but um, to me, it looks fine a lot better than that piece of shit paper so originally what happened was whenever I put this in the car I noticed that right so I said oh okay I got some of this wood I can just pull the vinyl off of this whole thing and re-glue it so I'm like oh god this is a piece of paper this is a freaking piece of paper this is garbage I mean even if this thing wouldn't have got wet you can see how it's already just looks like a piece of crap. Even if it would have not got wet, I would still be making this piece. This is very important because this is gonna go over your seats and tuck in behind your back seat. So you wanna have this in there. Okay, so now this thing really looks like a piece of garbage. All right, so we're just gonna trace it out on our piece of wood. All right, so we're just gonna cut it out with this. All right. So now on our piece right here, it has these little flaps that fold in. We're only gonna use them to cut the material, but then we're gonna cut them off. You see how we, we left these lines right here. So let's mark those lines. Okay, so we're gonna get the vinyl and mark our vinyl. All right, now we're just using a paint pen to mark it so we can cut it real neat. So we're just gonna cut that out. All right, so once you got your piece cut out, uh, we're gonna go ahead and cut these tabs off. Don't forget to mark them. Now we need to see if we can go get this to fit in the car. Kinda tight right here, so we're gonna go ahead and take off a quarter inch on both sides. We're just gonna take an eighth off first, and if we still have to go back, we'll at least know where our line is. So we got it in there. I like this a million times better already. Make sure it's sit flush and not bowed up. We're gonna go in here, mark our speaker holes, but mainly the little holes, the four little holes. Okay, so now we just cut the holes out for the speakers. Now we need to find any imperfections on this wood and either fill them or sand them down that may show up in our vinyl. It's this, I should have used the other side, but we're gonna have to sand that down. We will need to fill that. Anything would work. It probably won't show up, but I don't want it to. Just use any kind of putty. Okay, so in case you're making one, this is the piece that's gonna fold over and go in between the seats to fill the gap. 
I'm gonna go ahead and sh make one and show you how I did it. Now this vinyl piece, it's gonna be 67 three quarter by four inch. Okay, so you're gonna need a little strip of something. This is just a little piece of cardboard. I'm gonna cut some cardboard out. This is just a sponge, it's a half inch thick, two inches wide. Okay, so the cardboard and the sponge are 58 and a half inches length. The cardboard's a half inch strip. The sponge is a two inch strip. The sponge, the only one I could find was this at Walmart because we're gonna need a, a long strip. The vinyl and the foam was at Walmart, $10. This was $15. For the cardboard, I just found a box like that big. See, we need that continuous strip. If you can't find nothing, just use a piece of cardboard. So you do want one side of the cardboard to be very straight, so just be careful how you do that. All right, so we got these three pieces cut. That's actually the hardest part of the job. Getting ready to glue this piece, just make sure it's 100% clean, because if it's not, it's gonna poke up through your vinyl and look like crap. The can says for two sides to let it dry for 30 seconds, but I'm let it dry a little longer than that. Okay, just be careful the way you glue it, don't screw it up. So just do it in a well lit area and just if you see anything, immediately pull it up before that stuff dries. You got a few minutes. Now these little flaps, we're gonna try to get away without doing anything to them. They just go under the cell panel, so we're just leaving that alone. This is just at the edge. And then this is gonna be like that. Okay? Okay, so this is the edge. Okay? The four inch strip is gonna set like that. With the good side of the cardboard facing that way, sorry. All right, so you get the idea. We're just copying the reproduction piece. This just folds over. You stick this in between the gap between the seats. That's all it does. Okay, so now we're gonna get our holes cut. They're still drying, so I'm not gonna freaking touch them. Just wanna make sure they fit. They're done, came out perfect. Those are still drying. I can't push them in all the way, sorry. Okay, see the importance of that piece right there when you're making yours, it covers that gap. We have those little folds. I forgot to pull them up, but the cell panels go in there. Should cover every single thing up. So for 50 bucks, you can make two of these, sell one of them, easily get your money back. Um, it wouldn't even hurt if you had to put like Pioneer uh, speaker covers over there I wouldn't look bad either so I don't know if these are original 70 grills or not somebody please comment if they know other than that thanks for watching please subscribe if you like the video okay so I don't know if I mentioned the car is a 70 Chevelle so just that's the part number to make this one okay so there's all the dimensions of everything should be able to figure out what this means is because it's curved right here I just study that you should be able to figure it out if you have any questions on it just comment